that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nathan. time at UFC 200 and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world and if you're talking about a home base for the UFC you're talking about T-Mobile Arena home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200 Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight we get to take the same walk to that octagon try to make your mark on the sport. Just misses with the right. Looking to land the leg kick now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Moving to his left now. Left hand connection and a right. Swing and a miss by Kata Franz. Oh man, I could barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Yeah, All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Lands to the body. Well, missed on that one. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Huge block there. Back and forth we go. Right hand by the champ, yeah. 
Two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, do you see? Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Made another left hand there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, well timed with that team. And a miss with the right hook. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well placed kick there by Kata Franz. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Under a minute now to go. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, my goodness. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock the guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Oh, big left hook there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic Ready round. Fight. Ready. Round two underway. Clean execution on that leg kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice. Oh, high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Confronts his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Checks that leg, kid. Slips that left hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Cotta France is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Get those combinations going. Move those oh, nice kick to the body there. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, good vision defensively. 
Okada fronts his eye now closing up. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to him. Under a minute to go now in round two. That punch no good. Oh, nice head kick. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Back to his feet. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, just opening up on him now. He's hurt him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Nice counter left there. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. Superman punch now. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Entertaining scrap so rough. far. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Cable inches went down. It was a good night if that landed. Just misses with that one. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you can say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see 
the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a good Back to the jab now, no good. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. No, he's hurt. He's but look, he's a warrior. So he's gonna just try to go forward and try to finish, but his leg is destroyed. Oh, roundhouse kick. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Big shot to the head. All right, so we knocked down for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that Knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. France is cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. One minute. Nice punch to the head. Good work, guys. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shot. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is as, that is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. Fight. I'm just saying. Ready. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing.
and able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Kata Franz. Oh! is really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Clipped him with a right hand there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques to go at. Looking to land the right just that way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Connor Fronts is tough as it gets, but that eye is down right nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbit. Not good for Lim. Oh, nice. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Too. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Wow! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, my goodness. Two minutes to go in the round. Well, the striking clinic continues, and... He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Just out of range with that right hand. landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness the striking has been on point every step of the way careful to not gas out but you gotta like the output here down the stretch well straight right hand has been a good weapon for him he misses with it there checks the leg kick Yep. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which part. Oh. Back to the feet now. limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Those are sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now 
is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Landed that one. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Cotta Fronts. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice head kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Oh, great block there. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Kata Fronts. Stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Out of range with that one. Three big shot lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Try to establish that jab. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you got to think at some point he's going to switch stances or make an adjustment, or he's going to lose this fight. He's got to do something, because right now what he's doing has not worked. It's very clear that they did not expect this as part of his opponent's game plan, and he's been a step behind the entire time. Oh, wow. Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there. Right down the front. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him, and now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Take your time. Take your time. Relax. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Nice jab. Falls it up with a nice right hand. Side kick now. Oh, solid kick right there. Nice defense there, huge block. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Kata Fronts. Now, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any design of winning this fight. Kata Fronts is caught on his nose, does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside position is gonna get called in here in a moment. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Oh! And there it is! To end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.